Hi guys, and welcome back to The Family Fudge. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jennifer, and at the end of the month, I usually like to share my favorite things, but these videos are more than just my favorite things. You know, a lot of times on this channel, I will share recipe videos and how-tos and things like that, but these videos are different because I get to share with you what I really love, what I've been eating and what I've been watching and products that I like and things like that. So it's more of a life update. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you all of those things, but I also have some information about whether or not we're moving, what we're doing about homeschool, if we're continuing to do that. And I also have a mystery box sent to me by a sweet subscriber that I can't wait to open and show you guys. And since we just reached 80,000 subscribers on this channel, I have a giveaway, so stay tuned. Okay guys, now a lot of you will probably know this already, but I know we have a lot of new friends on this channel. So, when I'm going through my favorite things, I usually use the currently section of my Happy Planner as a guide. That way I know my talking points and things like that. And this year I did settle on two different planners. I have one for my YouTube stuff and have one for my daily life activities and schedules and things like that. So I did end up exchanging my larger one for the smaller one and I changed the cover on this one. So I really love my happy planners. Let me know in the comments down below if you're a planner girl, what kind of planner do you use? So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in here. I have so many things to share with you. The first section is always the reading section, what I'm currently reading. And I have to tell you guys, it's nothing, it's nothing like super serious or informative, but I still really like it. It's this Disneyland Secrets book. This book is basically a grand tour of Disneyland's hidden details. And Disneyland does such a good job with their theming and their small details that if you don't know what to look for or where to look for, them you might miss them usually when we go to Disneyland it's kind of hustle and bustle here and there but if you stop to look at the little details they're actually quite interesting so that's what this book is all about I highly recommend it if you're a Disneyland fan now another book that we read a lot while we were there was the hidden Mickey book although Mackenzie took off with that book and I don't know where it is now but we really enjoyed finding all the hidden Mickeys when we were at Disneyland last year the kids are finally old enough to be into that sort of thing which I'm excited about. Next up is the watching category. And this month it is definitely a YouTube channel. I haven't been watching a lot of TV or movies or anything like that, but I have a really good channel that I highly recommend you check out. It's called Life Made Simply with Nikki. Her channel is more of a lifestyle channel, but it's also geared towards moms. Her videos are really well made and I like that I can learn something when I watch them. Things about organizing, decorating, parenting hacks, and DIY. So definitely check out her channel. I will link it down below. The next section here is cooking. My favorite thing that I cooked all month. And that was a little bit hard for me because I tried to cook more healthy this month and those aren't necessarily my favorite, but I'd have to say that the egg muffin cups were probably the best thing that I made this month. Now I do have a separate video on this if you'd like to check it out, I'll link it down below. But egg muffin cups are something that I didn't use to like making because every time I made them in the muffin pan they were really hard to get out, they would always stick, and then the pan would be hard to clean. But here's the trick you guys, if you use some silicone liners, the reusable kind, the egg muffins will pop right out and it'll be so easy to clean. And you can really customize the eggs however you like them. So I like mine spicy, my kids don't. I can just make some of each. And these are an awesome make-ahead meal as well. So you can make a big batch, keep them in the fridge for a couple of days, and your breakfast is ready to go. On to the next category, which is eating. So something that was really good that I didn't necessarily make myself. And you guys, this is kind of a naughty treat, but I did share it with my entire family, so it wasn't too bad. On our last trip down to Disneyland, we took an extra day to visit some other parks. And one of those parks was Knott's Berry Farm. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of Knott's Berry Farm, but it's actually not that far from Disneyland. It's another theme park with lots of roller coasters and attractions and things like that. And it has a different feel than Disneyland and it's much cheaper. So maybe I'll make an entire separate video talking about Knott's Berry Farm if you guys are interested because it's a great alternative to Disney. And even I'm saying that and I love Disney. So, but while we were there, 
we tried their boysenberry funnel cake. And I love all funnel cakes, but the boysenberry one was so, so good. Now I consider myself sort of a funnel cake connoisseur because basically every time we go to Disney, we try a different kind, but definitely the ones at Knott's Berry Farm were the best. They were better than Disney. Moving on to the loving category, and I usually like to share some products when I get to this category. Now the first thing that I picked up recently was a new sticker book. This is the Mambi sticker book that goes with my happy planner, but this is the new one that just came out I think this month. This is the productivity one, and I really like the stickers in here. This book is totally different than anything they had before. It has a lot of very long stickers that are meant to be used as checklists and goal trackers. Now, it used to be that you could only find stickers like this on Etsy. Now, I'm not against Etsy stickers at all. I love Etsy stickers, but I like that you can just go to Michael's and get these. You don't have to wait for them to come in the mail or anything like that. So, I really like these stickers. They're awesome. Now, the next thing I've really been loving this month is my new diaper bag. Now, I made a separate video on how I pack this, especially when we go to Disneyland, if you'd like to check it out, but I just love this bag. It's also a backpack and it has a shoulder strap as well, so it's very versatile, but I really love that it's, it's very much like the Jujube backpack diaper bag, but it was only $24, which is a steal. I have to tell you guys, I have purchased cheap diaper bags, like this flimsy thing. I like that it has Mickey, but it's very flimsy, so not very good. And I've also purchased really expensive diaper bags. This is actually the Disney version Petunia Pickle Bottom, so it's a really nice one. But when I go to the parks and for day-to-day -day use, this is perfect. I love this diaper bag. It's wipeable, not expensive. It holds a lot. And I have four kids, so when we go out, I have to hold a lot of stuff. Oh yes, and I found that at Walmart, if you're curious. So the last thing in the loving category is being able to see Harry Potter World at Universal Studios Hollywood. We were lucky enough to get to go there for one day, and out of everything in the park, I was most excited about this because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan and I'd never been there. So we were able to go see everything, try the butter beer. We got to see the Hogwarts castle. My favorite ride was definitely Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. I think that's what it's called. But basically you like fly around like you're on a broomstick. And I'd heard a lot of people say that that ride made them um, nauseous. So I was a little bit worried about that, but it did not make me sick at all. It was really fun. I loved it. Okay guys, just a few more sections. Next up is the listening category, what I've been listening to. Now generally when I'm listening to music or a podcast or YouTube, I have my wireless headphones on and I'm cleaning because it's definitely a motivation for me to do both at the same time. I got these new headphones this month for my birthday and they are so cute and they're pink. But anyway, what I have really liked listening to is upbeat music that I can sing along to as I'm cleaning. Not that I'm a very good singer or anything like that, but I've really been enjoying the artist Jay Flaw. Now I know I've mentioned this before, but when I was in my 20s, I actually got to live and work in Japan. And while I lived there, I was exposed to a lot of Asian style music, which I really love. I might not be able to understand exactly what they're saying, but I really like the happy, upbeat music. Now Jay Fla is hugely popular all over Asia, and she's also really popular on YouTube as well. So I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description box below if you wanna go check her out. The last few sections here are sort of the heartfelt sections because they're about feelings and celebrating and dreaming and things like that. And then of course I'll get to the unboxing and the giveaway. So first up we have feeling. Now I really feel like my family as a whole, we are coming to sort of a fork in the road of life. And I mean, what I mean by that is we are in California and I don't feel like we are meant to live in California forever. I kind of feel like we are going to have a big change sometime within the next five years. So in one direction, I can see us moving. And in the other direction, I can see us selling everything and traveling full time. Um, both seem kind of out there to me. I pretty much always lived in California, except for when I lived in Japan. Um, 
So moving somewhere else is a foreign idea, but we have been seriously considering moving to Utah. Um, my husband does have family that lives in Utah and I've spent a lot of time in Utah as well and it seems like a good place. And the big thing about Utah for us is that coming from California, the cost of living in Utah is much, much less. So for our tiny house here, for what we're paying, we could get a house twice as big there. Um, and not that that's necessarily what's most important to me, but it is something that I'm thinking of because it, you know, our kids are getting bigger. We're going to need more space eventually. Now, on the other hand, I say I need more space. I think we need more space, but then if we travel full time, we're going to have even less space because we'll be living in an RV. And even though there's challenges that come with that, it also seems appealing to me as well. I feel like we could go either way. Now, as far as homeschooling goes, if we end up going on the road and traveling, then of course we will still be homeschooling. Now, if we move to Utah, depending on where we move and how the schools are there, if there are some really good schools available to us, we would certainly look into um, sending our kids to the public schools there if they were interested in doing it and it felt like a right fit for our family. So yeah, I'm not really sure where we're going to end up. I just know that change is coming and I feel like we have plenty of time to think about it and to pray about it and hopefully we will love our choice. We shall see. Next up we have dreaming and I almost always rename this section from dreaming into goals because a dream is just a dream. You have to have a plan. It has to be a goal and you can work towards it. So this month I've really been thinking about upping my social media game. I feel like YouTube has been going really well. I'm having a lot of fun with that, but there are other platforms where I'm not, I'm not very good such as Instagram and blogs, and I'm pretty much non-existent on Twitter. Twitter is not my favorite. Sorry if you love it, but I just am not very good at Twitter. But right now I've been focusing on my Instagram, um, posting more stories, more interesting stories, um, pictures and things like that, um, and making my photo quality better. But you guys, it is not like a natural talent for me to take good pictures. So if you go over to Instagram, you can definitely see how my photos and the things that I've been posting have changed and hopefully you'll notice that they're getting better. Now, of course, I'd also like to get better at writing on the blog, which is thefamilyfudge.com, but it just seems like I have never enough time to do it all. Now on to the celebrating category. Now I did have my birthday this month and I'm not gonna tell you how old I turned, but if you can see the wrinkles on my face, that probably gives it away. And I will tell you that I do share a birthday with a famous singer known as Elvis. Elvis and I have the same birthday, not the same birth year, keep that in mind. Now other than birthdays, I'm definitely celebrating the growth of this YouTube channel, which definitely wouldn't be possible without you guys. So thank you so much. I'm excited for reaching over 80,000 subscribers. I'm so excited to keep going and sharing my videos with you guys. It's been so much fun. So thank you for all of your support. I seriously think that I have some of the sweetest subscribers on this channel and your kind comments really make my day for sure. Now this month I had two surprises in my PO box. We just got the PO box this month and I was so surprised to actually see pieces of mail in it when I went there. So thank you so much. I'll go ahead and open them right now. First up, I have a really cute Christmas card all the way from South Carolina from this sweet family with some really cute pictures. Now, I don't know how comfortable they are with me showing their pictures you know, to the public, so I'm not gonna show them, but it's such a sweet picture. Look at all these cute kids. Now, I, I forgive me if I mispronounce your name, but I think it's the Killo family. The Killo family, if you're watching this, let me know in the comments down below if I'm pronouncing your name correctly because I'm really sorry if I'm not. But thank you so much for this card and thank you so much for this heartfelt letter. I really appreciate it. Then I also got, you guys, this box. Can you see what it says on here? Mercantile, that's right. Can you see this fancy tape? Look at this fancy tape. That's right, it's something from the Pioneer Woman. Whoa, look at that. 
It's the world's best plastic wrap dispenser. That's awesome. I've actually, I think that this is like the number one seller at this store. That is so cool. And it comes with the plastic wrap as well. That is awesome. Thank you so much. This is awesome. I love it. And I will definitely be using this all the time. Now I'm pretty sure I know exactly who sent this to me, so thank you so much. But I'm not sure how comfortable she is with me sharing her name publicly. So you know who you are. Thank you so much for sending this. I really appreciate it and love it. Now last but certainly not least of that giveaway to celebrate 80,000 subscribers. And of course, it's something Disney as well. This is a Mickey Mouse stroller hook, also known as a mommy hook. You can use this on a stroller or a shopping cart and it can hold all of your bags and your purse. Kind of makes it more secure. What I like to do is put this on my stroller um, when we go to the park and I'll actually hang the kids' water bottles on there so they don't get dropped or lost or get dirty, things like that. And I have a funny story about this, you guys. These are actually super hard to find these days. In fact, this might be the last one ever. They don't make them anymore and I've had several because these are so popular that the last time I went to Disneyland, somebody stole it off my stroller. They just like walked off with it when I was on a ride or something and it was gone. So I ordered two more, the last two available, and I'm gonna give one away to you guys. So I'll go ahead and leave information on how to enter down below. Good luck, you guys. If I could, I would buy one for every single one of you, but I can't. So. Okay guys, let me know in the comments down below if any of my favorite things are also your favorite things. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.